Welcome back. Uh, let's look at a second example of Monte Carlo analysis. In this case, we'll look at a profit model. And again, we're using the Risk Solver platform as our uh, for the Monte Carlo analysis. The example that you can see here on, on the screen is that I have a unit price, unit cost, quantity sold, fixed cost, and profit. And, and for each of these, the first four, we have we we think that those are going to follow some type of distribution. We're uh, we're not settled yet on the price. We think the unit price is going to be between 1895 and 2695, with the most likely of 2495. We think our unit cost is going to be uh, somewhere between 12 and 15, uh, equally likely uniform distribution. Quantities sold, we think it would follow this uh, relationship here along with a random term that's normal with a mean of zero, standard deviation of 10. And we think our fixed cost would follow a normal distribution with a mean of 30,000 and a standard deviation of 5,000. What we want to do as our starting point is, is start by representing each of these uncertain variables with their, their most likely term to get a, just a, a static model. Uh, a model in which we're not allowing the cells to vary yet. And when we substitute the most likely or the uh, mean or average values, we see that the expected profit would be 13086.35. Now let's represent these uncertain variables with their probability distributions. Uh, so I've, uh, I've added those already in, an, in another sheet. Uh, notice that they're following this psi distribution. Uh, in this case, it's a psi triangular, a psi uniform. Uh, this is the psi normal, and again, psi normal here. Uh, you might remember that there are, are two ways that we might enter those. One is just as an Excel function, start typing equals psi and triangular and the formula complete will uh, will bring up uh, the different options and then we put in those arguments of the minimum and most likely and then maximum values for a triangular distribution another way you can enter distributional uh, terms is using off the risk solver platform ribbon distributions and then uh, we have a range of values or distributions to choose from. Okay, so for each of these, I've entered these distributions that we talked about. Uh, then computed profit, and recall that the static analysis showed profit would be this amount. Well, let's run the, the Monte Carlo and see what we can learn about uh, the expected profit with the uncertainty modeled in the way that we've done so. So here's our outcome variable. I've identified it as an output with the psi output. So now let's run our, our model. If I double click, I get the distribution of those simulation results. And so we can see here that the mean is 10,707.22 after running uh, 5,000 trials. So when I enter this lower cutoff of zero, I can see this percent likelihood of being more than zero is about 94 percent or about 6 percent or almost 7 percent has a probability of being less than zero so almost a 7 percent chance that in this uh, analysis we'll have a negative profit. You can see the again the, the mean, the minimum value from those runs and, and maximum. If I, if I close this and go back to our model Recall that in the static analysis we had a about a thirteen thousand dollar profit, so we would I think maybe reach a different conclusion having represented these these values in the Monte Carlo analysis and be a little less certain of of the outcome, uh, incorporating the uncertainty into our analysis. That's it. Thanks. See you next time.